Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us uh, to another Bionicle review, and this one's on uh, Vaki Kirak and uh, Rorzak from 2004. So on the front, of, as the front of this canister, or for that I have for Kirak, see picture of the set in an odd position, and the Bionicle logo, Bionicle.com, Metro Dewey logo, and Corn Lego logo. And Vaki Kira launching the disc, and age recommendation is seven and up. Set number uh, eight six one nine has thirty three pieces, same as all the Vaki, and of course the lid part in trans in light trans blue, corresponding with the eye part of it, or it, yeah. And on the back side of which, see the, how to transform the Vaki. Or, yeah, the Vaki and how to put back in the canister, and also Bonkle.com and where the components are made, and uh, a little warning and barcode, and also above which is probably where the uh, ad for the Bonkle 2 movie would be at. Well, which I explained more last last throwback Thursday, but yeah, and yet again, these canisters, same as the Rakshi's canisters, but. And the lid part, which kind of interesting, which has all these symbols around it, and also these little bits of which are where you can fit a disc into, like that. Kind of nice how that is. And now on to the instruction manuals, of which for key racks, same picture as the front of the canister and everything. And then the front page of which. A just map of Metro Nui and stills from the Toa Metro videos that there were. And on the back, advertisement for uh, Bonkle 2 Legends of Metro Nui movie. Then ad for, uh, or I mean, for win on the online survey. And advertisement of all the Metro Nui Matoran and the Kanoka Disc Pack. Then advertisement of all the Toa Metro. Then add for all the three for the three Titan sets, which well Nadiki, which I previously reviewed, but uh, Kreka and Taragadu and Nivok expect for next next throwback Thursday. Then, and both of the combiner models that the Vaki can make, and then add for all the Vaki sets that there were. And a little bit of the combination model instruction. Then how to fold it back in the canister, and then the last building steps of all. And now on to the sets. First of which for key rack here. Well, obviously, like all the Vaki, same build, but uh, different colors and different tools and different Kanoka disc. But however, so it's not going to say much for that, but although the leg pieces we have seen on a few other sets after this one. And of course the headpiece in white, which we will also see on Kreka, also in this wave, of course. And the arm piece is in white, nice to get there. And waist piece in white, also nice to get. But then, of what, the only bits that are exclusive to it pieces that are exclusive to this set is the torso piece in white and, and of course you have the gear function for it to turn back and forth like so and then and of course like all the Vaki sets can like pinch these together and let the disc launch forward of course <coughs> then as for these uh, tool weapons here which are pretty much like uh, saw blades, like serrated saws, then, and with a couple pistons in words, and then also a couple few uh, pinholes in the back. Although this uh, one particular, which was kind of exclusive to this one, to this set, oh wait, also comes on uh, Taragadu and Divac as the wing parts, and also the uh, Grand Titan set in Exoforce, but that was recolored for that. So, at least get at least this in silver is a little more common for that. But yeah. 
And I guess that's about it with key rack here. And then now on to Rorzak. Which, yet again, like all the other Vlocky sets. It's same, but in but now in black. But also, kind of interesting part is the eye stock kind of piece, which is in trans yellow, even though the other black earth ones were which usually have green eyes for that but however but of course this which kind of a take off the bull rocks or black bull rocks that had the yellow eyes for that well same with the black viscerac in the following year of course and speaking of which the leg pieces also reused to that set and a few other sets after of course same with the arms and tort and uh waist piece all of which were reused shortly after this one and as for the Kanoka disc here, which also came with Tehuti, the Matoran set, and also that, and of course, also came with Nadiki as well, and the headpiece, which, which was reused on a few other, a couple other sets, which especially Rudaka in the following year, of course. But as for these tool-like weapons here, which do have some couple of pistons on them and a little tube bit to it, and and this little bit, which probably would kind of looks almost like out of Lego Nexo Knights, but even though that of which was done a decade later, but however, it's a little larger and actually part of some piece for that. And of course, this which does have kind of a jackhammer kind of look feel to it, since this is an Earth character. And so now on to the transformation feature of all the Vaki sets can like. Turn the head like that, and put the uh, arms forward like that, and then put the legs down like that. And then got it in its uh, running mode for that. And of course, this uh, which is how some Vaki sets are displayed on their covers and everything. But yeah, so part just to differentiate the variants and such or different positions. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are quite uh, cool good sets. Well, kind of good, quite cool for the time, but kind of good now. And like, and of course, Key Rack. Keeping up the color scheme of white with a little bit of bright blue for well fitting to the ice theme, like all the ice characters of Bonacle tend to have. And whereas for Rorzak, of which, uh, good to see some jackhammer kind of tool weapons, which you can definitely use on some other Earth character mocks if you wanted. And, and of course, although some pieces to them, which didn't stay exclusive for very long, but but at least these, these are kind of a sign of the times to get where these two sets were the only way to get those piece, some pieces in either white or black, but, and as for uh, key racks here, as for the t uh, weapon tools of key rack, which, which didn't stay exclusive very long for that, since of course, and of course we're all, oftentimes in silver, unlike the one in Exoforce, of course. But, and of course, like most, like most of the smaller sets, a sign of the times where he got some plenty of good stuff, for a small cheap price but yeah and, and of course something with a little transformation feature like the folding up of the bull rocks and so on but yeah and so now if any of you still have these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who have are still looking to get these sets i'd say definitely get them ebay bricklink mercari whatever and that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.